Please rise for a moment of silence to be followed by the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, BHS. I'm Trace Bainable. And I'm Eden Savoy. And, and welcome, welcome to Bash, Bash TV. Today is Wednesday, February 9th, making today the official 109th day of school and day one of the cycle. The lunch menu for today will be mac and cheese, stewed tomatoes, fruit, and milk. The breakfast menu for tomorrow will be chocolate bread, fruit, assorted juice, and milk. Now, before we continue with the day's news, we want to take a minute to highlight the newest edition of the Student Times, which is our school newspaper. So there's multiple different articles in there about the news from how faculty feel about students during COVID and trying to teach about our new musical. And there's also two pages, as you can see right here, of Valentine's. Um, you never know. There may be one in there about you. I mean, anybody could have submitted them. And then we also did a survey about what our students here at this school, what they think about love, and what they think about Valentine's Day in general. So it's very interesting, and we here at BASH encourage everybody to check it out. In, and they will be in the cafeteria starting today. The next SAT testing date is March 12th. Register by February 11th on the College Board website. There will be a SAD meeting in the library at 7.30 a.m. or 2.40 p.m. tomorrow, February 10th. Well, that's it for the main desk. Let's hear from Morgan with sports. Thanks, Trace and Eden. I'm Morgan. Let's take a look at the scores for Monday and the sports for tonight. On Monday in boys basketball, Sean Murphy scored a team high 27 points in a loss to Southern Columbia. In girls basketball, Carly Oaks made the game winning free throw with 1.3 seconds remaining to lift Berwick past Hazleton 37 to 36. Serena DeFinis also had a career high 16 points. For tonight's sports, girls varsity basketball is home with Pitson at 7.15 p.m. Girls Junior High Basketball is home with Pittston at 4.30 p.m. Varsity Wrestling is away with Crestwood at 7 p.m. Junior High Wrestling is away with Crestwood at 5 p.m. with a dismissal time of 2.15 p.m. Varsity Swimming is away with Central at 4.30 p.m. Also, any boy interested in playing tennis this spring should sign up with Coach Schrader in Room 26. Now over to FYI with Daniel to see what's happening around BHS. Thanks, Morgan. I'm Danny Dimes, and let's get started with FYI. Seniors, there are multiple scholarship opportunities still available in the guidance office. Information has also been sent to your school email. Are you interested in careers in construction, specifically HVAC? Jeff Schmood from the local 44 Sheet Metal Workers Union will be here on February 17th at 10 a.m. Sign up in the guidance office to learn more. Seniors who have paid class dues and or done fundraising of $40 or more can receive a discount on your yearbook. An email has been sent to students who qualify for the discount. Students who want to order should call Jostens and give your representative your name and they will apply the discount for you. See Mrs. Curry in the guidance office with any questions. The Teen Center will be hosting several events. On February 15th, there will be a teen dating seminar at 4.30 p.m. February 17th, there will be a trivia at 4.30 p.m. February 22nd, the Teen Center will be partnering with the Children's Museum and hosting Lego Robotics class at 4.30 p.m. Finally, the Teen Center will be closed on February 21st in observance of President's Day. Well, that's it for today's episode. To conclude, we'll leave you with today's birthdays. Happy birthday to Brock Berlin, Kelsey Pipiak, and Benjamin Stroop. <laughs>